What's going on, fellow crypto heads? Mark Fleetwood here. Welcome back to the Daily Grind Trader. Today's video, I'm talking about the bottom and the reversal. And I know there's nothing that can make you look more foolish than trying to call the bottom and being wrong. And I've already done it. So I'm going to double down on that and be even more foolish because today I believe I have solid, solid proof that we've hit the bottom and now that we've got reversal patterns. I want to talk about the coins I think have made the strongest reversal patterns. So with that being said, guys, please remember, I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. With that being said, I'm going to hop into the Bitcoin chart because Bitcoin made a huge reversal pattern. Now, there's one thing I've done. I have switched my charts to the low scale. And because of the volatility of crypto, because of the amount of change in a short period of time, the low scale seems to make things cleaner for me. And some people and some people will um, agree to this and some people will not. But I've come to my my thought process to be that the low scale works better for me. I'm looking at this long term support line, this long term trend line support. First hit it here in July when we started the uh, bull run, hit it again here in September, hit our all time high. And now we've hit it again immediately after hitting it and dipping into it with a deep wick in Bitcoin blew up off of it. And you can actually see a little bit more cleaner on the four hour chart. It wicked deep into this support line and then had a massive, massive rebound candle out of it. So did most other cryptos. Almost every crypto had this type of a, uh, a rebound out. And this also made for a strong broadening descending wedge pattern. You see this wedge and it's getting wider as the wedge goes longer. That is a super bullish pattern. And I'm going to show you why. Uh, the descending broadening wedge is a bullish chart pattern said to be a reversal pattern and it's formed by two diverging bull, bullish lines. A descending broadening wedge is confirmed valid if it has good oscillation between the two upper lines. Now here, look at this oscillation top to bottom, top, near bottom, top to bottom, back to top. This has been a most, a most perfect oscillation from top to bottom of these of these lines. So with that being said, we're very close to getting a clean break out of this. And I think a clean break out of this pushes us near the top of our bigger trend. I'm going to go back to the daily for this. Our bigger trend is a ascending triangle. This ascending triangle has a, has a uh, resistance line at about 66,000. I'll say the, the range is from 64 to 66. And it hit the range here, hit the range again here broke it, but then came right back. There was no confirmation of the break. So it sold right back in. Now we bottomed out. Now we put our support line, our trend line support for the third time, three touches down. And now we should be able to go up and out of here and coming out of this breaking this ascending triangle will put us at a target of about $102,000 per Bitcoin. This should hit before end of the year. Stochetic RSI is starting to pump up the MACD looks like it's made a hard flip and it should be ready to roll should be ready to go into the bullish sentiment and the arun index the bears are coming down the bull should be ready to flip up at any point in time so very bullish on bitcoin right now and i believe the touch of this trend line plus the fact that you know i need to i need to follow my own advice more and more often because i'll, I'll give solid advice and i'm not follow up myself but i kept saying we're probably going to hit the 50 percent not to retracement 54k we're still in play up here hey i think we bottomed out but 54k i wouldn't be surprised and we broke that 54k sold below it bought right back above it and then now we're pushing back up towards the 382 line but that 50 percent fib line i knew i needed to see it because that's what we had to see from the july to september run we had to see that 50 percent fib line get hit before we reverse, that seems to be a magic number for Bitcoin to retrace at least the 50% Fibonacci line before it starts to flip up. And me making calls earlier than that was was just bad on my end. So I do apologize for that. But I believe after hitting the 50% line, pushing off of it, we should break this uh, broadening descending wedge. And that should then give us really, really strong bullish momentum. The momentum has already started, but I think once we break this, then it goes really strong. So the next coin that I have that shows very, very much a lot of strength as well is Solana. Solana is looking very strong. And again, look, I mean, this hadn't touched the trend line support since July. July, when everything started to run up was the last time this touched its trend line support. 
even after September, you know, the September dip that came down to a fairly good line. Like 115 was a solid buying opportunity here. This uh, support trend, this trend line support was pretty much running the 100 day EMA. And finally today or Sunday's, Sunday's daily candle wicked into this trend line support immediately bought back up off of it. So another really strong sign. Solano or Solana, I think will break this wedge and then has a strong potential to break $400 before the end of this year, before the end of this bull run. So Sol has a ton of potential for me. Again, it was another coin. It went so long without even touching its support, the trend line support here that it was, you almost forgot it was there. You almost forgot that that was a major support. And people were getting nervous and, and nervous about bear markets, just not realizing how far we had gotten off of the the major support areas. ADA, ADA is another one. ADA has a super strong chart. And again, people will forget with ADA, it spent 390 days above its trend line support. December 23rd, December 24th was the last time it touched of 2020. It's been almost a full year, 339 days. So prior to that, every time it touched, it made a new all-time high. Touched it, made a new all-time high. Touched it, made a new all-time high, and then hasn't touched since. My thought process would be that this wick into the trend line support is a great indicator, and everything is already starting to flip. The MACD made a hard hook here. Should be ready to flip back up to the bullish sentiment. The stochastic RSI had its double bottom and now it should be ready to run up. Everything is looking pretty bullish for ADA. Again, and this is out of very bearish territory. The, the RSI bottomed at 27, 27, 29 on the RSI bottom. And then it bumped into this range, into this um, support, support range and immediately bought back up off of it. That was a deep daily candle down. It's bottomed at 141 and closed at 159. So it made a 3.35% gain here from open to close, but from the bottom to close was more along the lines of an 8% growth off of this bottom. So again, another really bullish sentiment here on ADA. And I've got two more. Link. Link has been tough to watch. His link felt like it was so close to breaking out of $38 and breaking towards all time high. And, and then it just collapsed link dropped 42 percent over the course of november 10th to november 29th so 19 days 16 days dropped over 42 percent but link is another one that hadn't touched its, its trend line support since july of 2021 so it's been almost the entire bull run way up above this trend line support so with that being said i think again another deep wick bought right back up and it's it's waking up right now it's it's got some strong buying pressure even as we speak it breaks this wedge and then it starts to push towards the all-time high again it should start pushing towards breaking 35 to 38 range and then it's got to break a stronger resistance at 52 once it breaks 52 it's it's kind of in a uh, price discovery mode so this one is another one it's hard it's gonna be hard to to really predict where it could go but I, I don't think 70 dollars is out of play i really don't think 70 is out of play for the end of the year all right guys one last one before before i get out here and this one was by this kind of happenstance where i was getting a lot of requests for for this particular coin and it happened to show some strong uh, a strong move off of this support and we're looking at cake swap pancake swap has again touched this multiple times the last prior to today being in July, and it was way up above it since since July. Again, it bumped into it today and bought off of it really quickly. Every time, I mean, it bumped in the 26, sold right back to the base of it, or bought right back up to the to the top of it, kind of stayed above it, dipped back in today, and then really bought hard. So I don't know that this has a lot of room to run because I mean, it seems like every time it does dip, the resulting rebound has been smaller. You know, you had the rebound here at the all-time high, and it dropped almost 100% very quickly. I mean, this was about a month 
and it dropped really quickly. And this most recent rebound from July to August really didn't get too much strength. It really didn't grow too much. But even if this only hits the 618 line at $22, from where it sits right now to the 618, you're looking at 63% growth to $22. So there's still a lot of growth to be had. There's still a lot of potential with, with kick. And then if the market really goes berserk and we're really in that super run, that last leg super run, there's no reason why this can't hit the 50% line or 382 or even touch all time highs again at $44. And then if you're going, if you're going to look at that from, from current price to the all time high, you're looking at a 229% increase, which is just bananas to think about that it's even a possibility. But with these um, swaps, pancake and sushi, Uniswap have all shown the potential to go really big really fast and then sell off really fast. So I don't tend to get into them that much, um, but there's definitely potential there. And I said if I were if I were to buy into this here, I would probably sort of sell order at the uh, at the six one eight line just to take that much profit and go and just let it rip and get out of it. But there's no reason why it can't go higher than that. So with that being said, guys, that's the video for today. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it brings you guys some faith some renewed faith to 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 see the strength of the market coming back so as always until next time peace